So, for our midlife crisis, rather than tour the country in a Miata like normal people, Karen and I decided that we would host an exchange student. That's right, we were going to invite a teenager to come live with us for an entire year. This is not a simple process. So we looked for an organization and we found one called the EF Foundation. And what it does is it kind of helps you do the whole exchange student thing. We looked at the website and the website suggested that we might want to share the rich history of Central Europe. Or embrace the culture of Southeast Asia. or perhaps simply invite the Nordic spirit into our home. Okay, uh, things to think about. But first, we had to make the basic decision of whether we wanted a boy or a girl. Okay, with that decision made, next we had to decide where we wanted this exchange student to come from. And we had kind of a basic list of criteria. Uh, it had to be a place that was not evil, not boring, not too much like us, but not too different either, not too close, and not some place we knew nothing about. So that narrowed down our choices considerably. Then we started to look through EF's list of students from the countries that we were willing to host someone from. And that took a lot of discussion and soul searching. But finally, we found her. Her name is Serena, and she's a 15-year-old high school student in a small town in Switzerland. We signed up for her immediately. So next, we had our home inspection, where they made sure that her house was nice enough for someone from a foreign land, and that poor Serena wouldn't be stuck in a closet under the stairs. Then we had a criminal background check, which surprisingly, we both passed. And then we got contact information and were in touch with Serena. We were also given the rules, and there are plenty of them. For example, while she's here, we are not allowed to give her alcohol, period. No way, no how, no time, never. Okay, we can't take away her passport as punishment. I guess that was a problem at some point. We can't lock her in a cage. She's not allowed to hitchhike, skydive, shoplift, or participate in a riot. Really, much like U.S. foreign policy, we can give her money, but we can't lend it to her. And we're supposed to treat her like family in every way possible. Sort of. They do caution, though, that our relationship with our student cannot and should not be a substitute for our normal adult needs of friendship, companionship, and affection. In fact, we are specifically warned about hugging, kissing, and they make a point of this, walking around naked. Now we've been emailing Serena back and forth and she reports that she's getting the same kind of detailed rules uh, about her behavior. For example, she's told never to insult America because Americans apparently get really touchy about that. One specific thing she said she was cautioned about was walking in on her host parents while they are in the shower and she is using Skype. Apparently this is a problem. So having passed the tests with an encyclopedic no encycl a thorough knowledge of the rules under our belt, we are ready for Serena. Now we have to get ready also for the cultural differences that are sure to rear their ugly heads. But that is a subject for another video. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you.